are Jets fans, and they told me this, you know, obviously when we had traded for him. And, I mean, my theory is, like, look, I'm not going to say that Sam is completely blameless. Obviously, that, that pick was all on him, um, the first drive of the game. That was not good. But he also hasn't had much of an O-line. I mean, if you watch the way that the O-line collapses, they are literally collapsing into his lap. So, I mean, I think I'm not ready to give up on him yet either, personally, per se. But I think that there's a lot of things going on, especially like today with receivers dropping balls. Like Robbie Anderson got on last week. He was real big bitch. You know, basically bitching that he wasn't getting the ball enough. And then they gave him the ball, and what do you do three out of those four times? He dropped it. So I think guys need to, you know, there's plenty of blame to go around, not just on Sam. It's easy to blame the quarterback, of course, because, I mean, when you think about it, that's the that's the position that's under the most scrutiny. Um, so that that's pretty much how... I, I feel, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously, like, I feel like everybody else does. I'm really sick of losing, you know, it sucks. <laughs> like, week after week, you know, we get told the same thing, I think, as Panther Panthers fans every time. Like, oh, yeah, you know, who, who notices how every week with Matt Rule, he's like, we need to get better. That's like missed opportunities rebranded. You notice that, right? And it's like, yeah, okay. It's his fault you're not getting anything. I hear you, I mean, I hear you saying we need to get better, but you're not. You know, like, I, I just, I think that we're all kind of at that point, and it's very easy for all of us to get frustrated. And I love hearing what everybody has to say because, you know, you make some really great points all around. Um and, you know, and, and I think the difference between really great teams that you see really balling and having consistency right now is, I mean, look at Dak, Pre- Dak Prescott, right? I mean, my, unfortunately, my husband's a Cowboys fan. He does have Panthers sympathies, so he will root for the Panthers as long as they ain't playing the Cowboys. But Dak has all fucking day to throw. That O-line, the Cowboys every year, they invested in their fucking O-line. They drafted these guys and and then when their contracts are up you know they decide who they want to keep they get they get rid of whoever and then they go back into that draft pool and they pull people I think the O-line has just been a big issue for a long time and I mean like a lot of Panthers fans I just kind of want to know when the hell are we going to address this (laughs) like that's where I'm at um but yeah we get a new coaching staff yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. I'm off that rule. So, I'm off. So, the reality is, right, we, mm. we traded for Sam Donald and put him in this exact same situation he was in with the New York Jets, where he's got to run for his life every freaking down. Thank I you. mean, they had one of the guards literally was the same guard on the Jets team that freaking let him get run over all the time. I mean, that's the yeah. reality. You know, so. I don't know what's happening. Whole... I can't hear anything. Hey, uh. What do you hear us? Can you hear me? I can now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear everybody. For me, I'm not blaming Sam Donald because yeah. Sam Donald, like, like multiple people said in his in his town hall, Sam Donald, we got a three year track record of what he's what he is. So this is the this is this regime's second hand pick quarterback. You signed Teddy Bridgewater with Cam Newton with uh, with one year left on his deal, then you release Cam Newton. Teddy Bridgewater grows a backbone because he's not feeling what's going on in the meeting rooms and in practice, and you get him out of there. Uh, I want to know who was that guy who told Matt Rule if he ever had a chance to get Teddy Bridgewater, go for it, all right? Because if Teddy Bridgewater is supposed to be this team first guy, and then all of a sudden he bucking up at you, who's wrong? Well, he threw, I mean, one thing Matt Rule is not doing particularly well is he's throwing people under the bus. You know, I mean, yeah, he even yeah. his comments today, he specifically said, it'd be nice if Teddy's friends helped out more. I, that You know, don't quote, that's not the exact quote, but. Yeah, no. but the I thing mean, is, the thing that I have that's annoying me right now is that he's throwing everybody under the bus except Sam. Yeah. And yeah. that's, that's fair. fair. Now, that's because he plays next on the line for Sam. Well, it's his no, second, no. It's the second think, quarterback. I, I this is it. Because he knows that Sam is the last ride. Like, yep. He's got a, this is it for him. Like, we're riding with Sam through this fifth year option and Rule's going to be here for the third year. That's well, my opinion on the situation. I think, I think you're right. 
you know, it goes back to the the issue we had today in the st- in the stadium, right? Where there were almost more Vikings fans than Panthers fans. I mean, that should tell David Tepper something. That should tell you that our PSLs do not feel comfortable with with the product you're putting on the field. Okay. They're willing because to sell their fucking tickets. Then the country yeah. them down and throw the game away. Get the message yeah. right now. The big question is. Is David Tepper actually listening to that? Pro- that is he actually having conversations with his coaching staff, saying, "Oh, hey, you know, maybe our team sucks." I mean, we're having. I mean, that, this should be a visible thing that he should be able to see and address. Should be, yeah. But if you, if you look at his face today when they were showing him on TV, he. I mean, in my mind, it looked like to me he was thinking to himself, "What the fuck." Did we get ourselves yeah. to the fan he's, literally sitting there, he's sitting there going, I paid two and a half billion dollars for this shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the reality. Um thanks for unmuting me. Uh, I've been Panther fan you know, like many people here, it doesn't really it's irrelevant. But today when I was there, it's about making plays. And it's also about game planning and scheming. Minnesota took our strengths and used them as our weakness. How many misdirections did uh, Cousins run as far as boots one way, throwing the other, quick screens, quick passes, things we don't evolve or put our players in position to win. And Sealand catches everything that's thrown to them. Any close ball, they make plays. We, how many, I don't even know how many drops we had. Points in, point in case, I mean, a case in point, when we got down to the goal line to try to cut it to um, to three, we were down 11. DJ Moore has an opportunity to make a play, drops it. I also think we have to put things in perspective of where we are in this process. Whether you like the staff or not, what Rule took over was complete dog shit. 50% roster turnover in the midst of a pandemic. New staff, no training camp, no preseason games, and we somehow win five games. Going into this season, my goal our over under in Vegas was seven and a half. I thought we could win eight games as building going to year three. Then you look at the injuries. The NFL, everyone's one play away from being average. We got our starting. We don't really have a left tackle, but he's been banged up. Our franchise running back, which again we can argue, do we pay a running back? Okay. He's missed sixteen and twenty two games. Our starting safety's out. Shaq Thompson's out. Um our first round corner out. I mean, like, it starts catching up with you. And then other guys just have to make plays. We're still very young. I'm as frustrated as the next person. Only only we could lose the way we lost today. But if you've been a Panthers fan, you're numb to it. You know, we had a not when we was first, in, the first down from the four-yard line, going 96 yards, the Vikings were a 99.5% favorite. Only we could hit Ian Thomas with the pass we made go down, score, get the two-point conversion just to lose the toss. But I also think we blocked the punt. We blocked the punt. First punt return in, t- in franchise history. Or not punt return, I'm sorry. Punt block. We scored for touchdown. We let a freaking fullback run 30 yards on our ass. Cause it's, yeah. It's just it's just right now, guys, I think Sheena hit it on the head. You got to learn how to win. We're all frustrated. I was in Pittsburgh when we were 6-2 and two when, when Cam Shoulder went toast. And since then, it's like we're trying to find the right pieces, but we also. I know that ain't who I think it is. I know, I know that ain't who I think I that is, bro. I know that ain't who I think it is. The man, the myth, the legend, brother. <laughs> the legend, bro. I know that ain't who I think it is. You mean to tell me that we got. Oh, hell, hold on, hold on. Actually, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to just go ahead and let him take it away. Uh, Miss Quick's in here? I know she was up. She wanted to hear nah, it. She, she dipped out. She dipped out. Damn, Hirsch. Yeah, she, all right, she all right. just oh, dipped wait. out. Why he leave? Oh, no. Uh, he's about to get put on. Uh, 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 <laughs> bring your ass back in here. Bring your ass back in here, my boy. Hell no, I'm not going to lie to you this bitch. Bring your ass back in here. Hell no, nah, that man. Yo, he's funny, man. Hell yeah. He, he, he giving us a little tease. Bro. He giving us a little tease. Nah, bring your ass back in here, my boy. 
Uh, hey, shout out to I think that was Michael that was saying that shit. I say I noticed that shit about the fullback though. That shit had me pissed. Cause when I seen him uh sprinting up that field, I was like, yeah, hold on, we're getting off on us, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Another thing. So Hershey just tweeted me, y'all. Uh, he said he accidentally requested. He ain't really. He ain't actually want to speak. All right. So I got, I got three people I want to speak tonight. Number one, I want to hear Hershey speak. All right. Uh, I want to. I want to hear Hershey. But uh, the two more, two more ladies I want to hear to speak, man. Y'all been talking all this noise. Y'all been in here front and center every week. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody to tweet out hashtag make Sierra speak uh-huh, uh-huh. At, <laughs> at Def Sierra with two A's at the end. Tweet that out. The next one, make Lauren speak. Yep, both of them guys speak. At Lauren with a Y and three N's, capital G. Hashtag make Lauren speak. Hashtag make Sierra speak. And we're going to get them to speak. Hold on. Hey, hold on. She done came back, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hershey, where you at? Hershey, where you at? Hershey, where you at? Hold on, man. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Hershey, where you at? Hershey, your ass back, man. Go ahead and come back. Hershey, bring your ass back in here, please, bro. Please, my boy. Bring your ass back in this. Nah, Hersh, come on back. Yeah, you got 200, you got 150-some-odd people up here waiting to hear you speak. All you got to do is just come in here and say hello. You know what I'm saying? That's all we want to hear, bro. We just want to hear you speak, bro. We ain't trying to we ain't trying to roast you. We just want to hear what you got to say. They got their cooking in already. Fried that man like he was a turkey leg, boy. <laughs> Smoked him. But, uh... Let's see. Yeah, come on, Ursi. But yeah, go ahead and tweet it out. Hashtag make Sierra speak. She in the I see she's still listening. Uh hashtag make Lauren speak. Alright, we're gonna get y'all to speak tonight. Oh, hold on, I got somebody that wanna speak. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot. I almost hit something by accident. Hold on, hold on. Where my man's at? Uh, where he at? Where he at? Emmanuel. There he is. Got you. He want to speak. All right. Y'all unmuted, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let um. Hold on. Let Michael finish. My bad, Michael. I cut you off. Right. You was you was spitting low key. Uh, <laughs> My bad. I ain't mean to cut you off. I just seen old boy up in here. No, I mean, I appreciate it. I was just saying, God, I'm, it, it's just, we, I think we've got to find, I mean, we're, we're all one to quit pill. And I know Darnold, I mean, I know the, the first play of the game was like, I couldn't believe it. At the same time, like, I just saw um, what, what Panther plays. He just made a post. Like, the disparity of catching and playmaking between two teams was incredible today. Look at the ball Thielen caught today. The one in the corner of the end zone. He was a monster today. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 really third, and th- the third and three in overtime where our rook played phenomenal defense, they make a play. It's just little things that, and then he also got to get a little lucky. How many times Cook put the ball on the field? The punt return put the ball on the field, and, and they're right there. But this, it, it's, you, can't, you, you can't turn the ball over in the NFL. But I also yeah. think we didn't ride you. But, you know, we didn't try to control the game. You know, I keep going and all. I never went straight in. I just thought it was win eight games and try to get better. But we got to get healthy. We are so banged up and we're so thin and young. Um, the fact we were in that game was unbelievable. But when we had that pump, pump lot, I was like, Here oh, my go. God. You know? And then the fullback fucking runs for 31 yards. Oh, and yeah. my brown we just can't hold momentum. Yeah. Well, it's a Panthers curse. We cannot hold momentum. It's Cardiac caps. Hopefully no, we, we win the coin toss in overtime. Who knows? It would have been great to have the ball. That would have been yeah. 
epic win. I haven't missed a game in there. And all the cats that left in the fourth with six to play, I was laughing my ass off. If they were outside, I was like, this would have been amazing. As far as the other teams taking us over our stadium, it's, it's simple. We got to win at the same time. Like, I have a 13-year-old son. He's been going to games since he was six. I told him the, the last couple of years, you're the generation that, that's going to change the culture. There's too many people in our region that either transplants or have other loyalties that either live. I, the most famous, the funniest shit I hear all the time is that team travels well. They don't travel well. Green Bay has 107 fucking thousand people in Green Bay. It's just they were grown up into that stuff. You think all those people fly down from Minneapolis? No. They're here. And they're coming to the games to see their squad because of the history. In Minnesota, they're own four in the bowl. I mean, let us be around for 60 years. Let's see if we do something. But y'all were around, if y'all were around here in 2015, dude, cats were coming out of the woodwork. And yep. being one to beat, it was a fun um, 2017. When you're winning, people want to enjoy it. But you also have to have players that you want to spend hard money to go see them play. You know, mm. I. Not, not to say, it's not cheap. Not to both. I, I decide what I do. I, I was, I've been raised in this, but a weekend to Charlotte for me is around fifteen hundred dollars, and I just I do that. I choose. To do that. I know some people can't. That takes the best of me. But who do you plan to pay two hundred and fifty dollars a ticket if you're just a casual fan? Who are you gonna go watch on this squad? Superman ain't there. McCaffrey ain't there. Luke ain't there. That's you know, true, you're gonna pay your, you're gonna sell your tickets, maybe go a couple, and until we win, all we can do is, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pitiful. Yeah. Until we win, you've got to win. Well, and yeah. to be quite fair, that it, that kind of goes back to call it to the way the team is built right now, right? I mean, even if you look at. Ask the question, why do college coaches not particularly do well in the NFL their first time out, right? Because it's two different games. Well, right. Receive. Well, if you look at it, right, what's the number one responsibility as a head coach in, in college? Recruiting. That's all it is. And you don't have a, a salary cap. You don't have, you know, X number of picks in a draft. You have a blank check to go recruit five-star athletes if you want it, right? I mean, granted, that that's might be an oversimplification, but that's just kind of the reality. I mean, you also can schedule you can schedule four wins. Exactly. I used so, to coach I mean, college basketball. You know, that doesn't mean anything. But you're in charge of who you schedule, who you pay into your own gym or field. And and the reason Saban got out, he didn't get through Breeze and say, look, I ain't going to have a quarterback. Plus, that's a whole other thing as far as control. I don't necessarily have a problem with rule thus far. I think the, I think the guy's won where he's been. However... You better start adapting, and um, I'll tell you what. Next year, I think everybody knew when when Tepper brought this crew in. Year three is the year everyone's pointing to. So they right. better to build on this year. Like I said, build on last year where we had no business winning five games, but we did. And if we win eight, then with Fitter and whatever we decided. Year three is the determining year for this franchise of where we're going. And in my opinion, let's right. keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck for a second, man. Do folks really think that we're going to win eight games this year? The over under was. I don't feel. You know, I don't. What's sad is if you look at the next game. six games, the next six games outside of Arizona, there's only one team that's got two wins. The Eagles were winnable. The Vikings were winnable. The Giants are going to be so winning. We should have beat the Eagles. The Giants should be winning. We should on the road. Like, do we really think we're going to win eight games? Hey, I'll tell you this. If we lose next Sunday, y'all better just clear this whole this whole town hall hall for the I don't know what you're going to do. Hey, at this point, the question at this point should be, the Giants want $300 to go to the game on Sunday, and I live in the New England area, and I'm not going because I'm not spending $300. I'm not spending $300. No way. lose. Then again, you know, now I know the Giants got rings. Can you imagine? I have a, one of my best friends, a Giants fan. The seven of the last eight years, they started 0 and 3. You talk about disarray, and now their whole team's hurt. If we lose Sunday, oh my! 
Yeah, I mean, but that's the thing, right, is do we, you have to ask yourself, do you honestly have any faith in this team at this point, the way it's built and with the people calling the plays, to win any games remaining on that schedule? And I don't look at any of them and see, like, look at any gimmies. Look at, I don't see any, like, this is an easily winnable game for them. Oh, we yeah. That's what happens when you don't have a quarterback, bro. Well, it's not just the quarterback, it's the quarterback. Regarding that, yeah, it's... Let me preface what I'm about to say by saying that today was just a unilateral offensive failure. That's why we lost the game. I mean, it was bad. But it doesn't matter. My, but it no, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just want to say that matter matter offensive I say all this. this. I mean, it was everybody. But my biggest issue is that I don't feel that Sam Darnold really moves with any agency or any urgency. Like, I don't think he really handle a workload. I don't think he really is a football player. I think he's good at it, you know, to a degree. He's good enough to make the NFL, but he doesn't, you know, guys like Cam and Luke, you could feel their presence on the field. Thomas Davis, you felt their, Christian McCaffrey when he's healthy, you feel their presence on the field. I don't feel Sam Darnold on the field. No, and if I don't feel that on the field, to be completely honest with with you, Darnold's problem problem is is his presence on the field. His problem is that he's he's not good. No, 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 no. The problem is, the problem is, the problem is this fan base thinks that we're going to get somebody like Cam that can carry exactly. a team. Like, and yeah, Teddy, Bridgewater, Teddy Bridgewater, you, Teddy Bridgewater and why, Donald ain't that. They're not that. Exactly. They're guys that need a surrounding cast around him. And we out here bringing Sam Donald in here with the poorest offensive line. Teddy Bridgewater last year had a poorest offensive line and expected it to succeed. They're not built for that. They're built exactly, for having a cast bro. around him. Oh, my him. God, and yes. Exactly, bro. They're not there. But, and that's right. the thing, though, is the way you can overcome a bad offensive line, if you can, is with scheme, right? And these guys don't scheme to overcome that. I mean, they nah, really nah, nah, nah. Scheme not helping Darnold. Scheme not helping. No, no, no. But we don't know that because the coaching staff ain't done a good job. Nah, nah. Either. We do know we that. Because three it's... years prior to him being here, we know that. He's ass, bro. Let's not, me, let's no start making excuses. Let me, let, me, let me ask you this, though, real fast. product, bro. There's they no for, fixing for cousins today. It's 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 a it's a wrap. Like, like there's no no. <laughs> like best we may curse with by Aaron Rodgers a little bit. What I'm getting at is that their their staff schemes. Oh, I'm say, for I don't know why people think he's like a recoverable asset. All that. I don't shit. think he's no, recoverable. I don't think he's recoverable. Yeah, no one's saying that. Done. You brought. He is you what brought, he is at this point. He's a four year this, man. veteran. He's no, a four year is, veteran, not a rookie. My thing is veteran. You brought him here. So your job is to set him up to succeed. You brought him here. You traded three picks for this guy. You That's brought him true. here. You brought him here. I don't so give a fuck if they brought him here. He's him a veteran. The, 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 well, the thing is, you That's brought him he here. Is. But you brought him here. So you need to make sure you set him up to succeed. And they haven't done that. Right. And he's I'm and, he, and he let him fall ball. on his face. And if he oh, oh, that no, look, Hold up. I, I, get, I get you. But to set, set Sam Darnold up to succeed, he needs a top five O line. He needs the best wide receivers. He needs the best uh, D line. He needs the best linebacking quarter. He needs the best safety. Yep. The best, uh, and they should have done it. He needs the best like best Teddy, bro. He needs the best just like Teddy, bro. Just like Teddy. We yeah, gave up three just picks. Like Teddy. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't play Teddy like that. Teddy wasn't this bad, bro. Teddy was not this bad. Teddy was not this bad. Nah, Teddy was, not, not so, nah, Ted, was definitely bad. better. I, and, 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 and I'll be real, I slandered the fuck out of Teddy. But no way he was this bad, bro. He was Playing not. Playing doubles out of Playing doubles out Nah, bro. Don't, we, don't that would not have gone over. That would not have gone to overtime with Teddy Bridgewater. And, it wouldn't and, have. Yes, exactly. The slander, honestly, and, and the, shit, the shit that really ma- makes me mad, though, is they not giving. Sam Donald's not even getting the same energy as uh, Teddy got. No. And bro, that was my he, he, uh, bro, that was my problem not. earlier. I said the Teddy, same exact thing for all his, for all his fault. He was he like yeah, you know he he, he the man, like the, the man best. Has, Obviously, the man he's not has Cam. Eight, he's he's kind of he's still turnovers. dead, you know. But nah, the man has get, eight turnovers he, in the last Teddy two games. Teddy would never get no excuses, even from me. But now Sam Darnold. Oh, he is just his first game. Oh, 